Terry, what the f are you doing in here? Well, you know what, since you're here, I want to talk about something. It was a design change that led to kind of an imperfection in our build. Um, typically, a light switch should be right here. When you're uh, installing the door, knowing the hinging of the door is kind of imperative to where you put the light switch. This one's a folding closet door. It's easy enough to switch the hinge of everything, but for the flow of the room, the switch should be here. Um, this is an early design kind of decision. Things got changed up. It became a rental property. Uh, the closet coordinate, the configuration changed. So we want to put this switch here. Uh, it's important to catch these things with your architect and when you do walk through with your electrician. There's a couple options we can do to uh, remedy this situation. Lutron makes something called a Pico switch, which couples with their Cassetta switch. I'll put a couple links in the description to where we get it. We use them a ton. It takes about 20 minutes to install. You put a receiver here and then you can put a wall mounted bracket here with a switch that looks just like a regular light switch. It takes about 20 minutes, no drywall dust, nothing. Um, the most intrusive thing we could do is cut the drywall open, run a new wire all the way over here, drop a switch. Uh, we don't really want to do that. Uh, it's a rental property. None of this is a safety hazard. A slightly easier fix that we could do um, would be to come on the other side of the wall. Cut an outlet here for, or cut a hole here for an old work box. Uh, go in there, free the box, turn everything around, and put a switch here and patch the drywall or put a cover there. Um, right now, the option we're gonna do is get the Lutron Cassetta Pigo switch. Um, again, it's a closet. We'll put it right here, uh, avoid everything. It'll be about 30 minutes, about $70, and they work great, and the battery has about a 10-year life. Um, everyone makes mistakes. Wish we would've caught this, and hopefully someone else can learn from uh, you know, what we did wrong. Live and learn.